everyone. Welcome to episode B of the Weekly Weekend Show. This week, in honor of the National Tea Day, we are going to taste three whiskey tea from Pico Tea. Yes, <laughs> from, from Pico Tea. Very important. So yeah, so if you remember, in January we did a dry January whiskey tea with our friend Pico Tea and John walk us through the art behind. The whiskey tea and the brewing process, which is very therapeutic, I find. This week, we're going to taste three more whiskey tea from Pico Tea, and from here we have Speyside whiskey tea, Campbellton, and Isla. We're gonna from start from Speyside because it's less peaty. I think we should start from something that's a little bit mild to stronger ones.、Mm. Please bear with us. This is not the <laughs> official. <laughs> Tasting equipments. We're going to use the wine tasting technique and approach to to taste the whiskey tea. Without further ado, let's start. Start by boiling the kettle. While we're waiting for the kettle to boil, we can give our audience a bit more background of the Speyside whiskey tea. The whiskey collection is a range of teas blended with real single malt whiskey. From each of Scotland's unique whiskey regions, Speyside is famous for its smooth, sweet notes of dried fruits and vanilla. So we're gonna look out for these two notes in our tasting: dried fruits and vanilla. Our Speyside blend is made in partnership with the Glenmore Distillery, and the ingredients in this tea is 80% black tea with apple pieces, Glenmore Speyside whiskey bracket six percent. Corn flowers, natural flavoring, freeze dried strawberries. Please don't judge us that we're gonna brew it in French press because we're in the office and we forgot that we need proper equipment to brew tea, and that's what we can find in the office. So, <laughs> it works.、Yes. Here we go. Wow! It smells like fruity chocolate. From like drinking from this, it feels like we're having like having having a, a small glass of whiskey or dessert wine. But this is space like whiskey tea. Yeah. So from the color, so give it a swirl <clears throat> and smell it. it. Smells so pretty, the vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, it smells still, like. It smells. I can still smell the dry fruit. It, it smells like white hot chocolate. White hot chocolate. Yeah. I think it'll be interesting. I think you know what this can match really well with chocolate. In that case, if you, if it just trust me, so many things go with chocolate. <laughs> okay, let's give it a sip. But one thing I quite like about this is quite consistent from the nose to the palate. Because a lot of time it、yeah. smells one thing, and then when you actually drink it, it's it's different.、Yeah. And also, I like it. We brewed it for three minutes at 100 degrees. It's actually really smooth,、it's, like a space、yeah. like whiskey. It's really smooth.、Mm -hmm. Also, since it has so much、um, black tea, it might seem like it's not gonna be as、uh, so easy to drink. But it's it's quite easy to drink. Like, yeah, it's, it's so smooth, and I like the、um, aftertaste of. Of the tea, which is not tangy at all, it's so smooth. I really like it. Next up, we will try the Campbellton whiskey tea.、Uh, th this blend is infused with a sweet chocolate and plum flavor, leading to a spicy finish. Ingredients are black tea, sixty-four percent, cocoa nibs, currant, currant, yeah,、uh, Campbellton whiskey, five percent, corn flowers, and natural flavoring. I got a feeling that you really like this. Oh well, why give it away? Chocolate <laughs> made with real single malt whiskey. So this,、uh, the whiskey collection is a range of teas blended with real single malt whiskey from each of Scotland's unique whiskey regions. Their teas have been carefully handcrafted to reflect the typical characteristics of each region. I think I already see this one. I feel like the color is a lot darker than this one already.、Mm. That is really dark, actually. Yeah. Maybe my nose is like compared with that. It doesn't. It's less fruity. Definitely more chocolatey. Hmm. Just like really、yeah. obvious. Although the color is darker, but compared to this one, it it has less the sweet, spice, fruity characters. I suppose this this is just like more of a whiskey tea to me. Actually, now. 
I think white chocolate, yeah. <laughs> it's probably a cacao nib, but, uh, yeah. but let's give it a taste. I think it's a more neat, simple tea compared to this one. Like when we're drinking this one, there is so much going on. It's like uh, like ratatouille. Yeah. When, when, when a little mouse tasting thing, there are different like things popping up. But this one is simpler, like straight. No, it, it, it tastes a bit like refreshing. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does. Next up, we have the I love whiskey, whiskey tea. For the whiskey lovers, you will know it's got a reputation for very peaty, smoky flavors. So um, I'm very excited to see whether we can have that from, from the tea and, and how that will make me feel. Isla is well known for its fiery, smoky, peaty whiskies echoed in this more flavorsome infusion. Okay, it's more flavorsome than the others. Okay, we do have two bases to, to mm. The ingredients are black tea 90%, mm -hmm. star anise, Arlai whiskey 5.5%, uh, mallow flowers and natural flavoring. I think mm. the smell is definitely probably from the mallow flowers. Definitely very different because this two like pronounced aroma of sweet spice mm. and that's like very mild, maybe white chocolate and that one just from smelling the the, the tea uh, dried tea leaves it's um it's got less of the sweet spice notes here so i'm curious is any of you watching this ever tried any whiskey tea or any like gin tea for example i think there's a lot of this new um new tea coming up so drop a comment if you have ever tried a whiskey tea before yeah Yeah, I don't even need to put my nose in. Yeah, there. so pungent. This in a professional way, would be like pronounced aroma <laughs> of insert taste note. But it almost reminds me of orange in the way it smells. Yeah, like when you peel an orange. Yeah, definitely the the citrusy note, like maybe maybe lemon. Yeah, it's more like the skin. Yeah, the smell. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> And um, I was expecting like a really pungent um, note of the, the peatiness, mm. like something smoky. But actually, the, the smoky notes is very subtle. It's there, but it's definitely not like I love whiskey. That's just like just very very powerful, which I like. <laughs> I I'm I'm not into I love whiskey yet, but but in, in tea so far, like from the nose, I I'm looking forward to tasting. I think it's quite consistent with uh, with what was like from on on the nose, but on the palate it's actually a lot more mild. But like it does taste like this flower. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't think I've had that tea before. Good. I think when it comes to tasting, there's no right or wrong. Mm. So it's what it reminds you of. And it's interesting now now that we've we've finished tasting all three whiskey tea from Speyside to Campbellton and Isla. Although in terms of color, the, the depth of the color, this one is the relatively the, the lightest one among the three. But then from the, the taste, um, it's actually the most complex mm. and powerful. There's just so much going on, all the fruit notes and dried spices, sweet spices and different kinds of chocolate. Yes. Very, um, I was very friendly to to general audience, whereas this one's probably in between the three. It's like in the middle. This mm. one's still got a little bit of sweet spice, simpler, more neat. And then that one is just like wow. When when you smell <laughs> it, you you know it's there. And then when you taste it, it's actually wow. quite mild. That's it. Bye.